Morning guys. I just uh, thought I'd share my thoughts. Just uh, spent my first night with a um, Bora Cuban bivy underneath my uh, Z-Pax pocket tarp, which uh, up to this point I've used a solo ground sheet and a Sea to Summit um, solo bug pyramid, but this looks pretty um, like a winner here. Uh, so this bug bivy has the advantage of when you're not using it, you can um, have a lot more space to get around in. Um, this nice little cocoon that's pretty water resistant underneath your tarp. Um, seems like a winner. Just walk around here outside. I got a little extra um, pull cup so that you can create a little more headroom if you need it. Uh, I really haven't found that that's necessary, but it's a nice luxury. The bivy has a little uh, shock cord on the head end to get keep the net off of your face. Um, and I just kind of put a hook on there and cut it kind of short so it's real easy to hook onto one of these little loops that you can get from the But yeah, with the bit with the bivy, you've got a lot more uh, room when you're not sleeping underneath the tarp. Um, I think I could cook out here a lot easier um, than I could in the solo ground sheet. Um, and plus you've got this, um, you've got your sleep system all kind of cocooned away so that you're not going to get bugs and debris and stuff like that on it. Um, it's uh, just a lot more user friendly, I think, than, than the see to some uh, bug pyramid um, it's uh, it comes in at about just a tad over 11 ounces uh, for the bivy and the uh, tarp and uh, you pair that with a lightweight trekking pole and you got a, a pretty pretty sweet solo shelter so. here's a shot kind of just looking at the inside from the entrance I'm about five foot ten, five foot eleven. I've got plenty of headroom. Um, the only spot that's a little cramped is kind of the entry point here. It's a little bit lower than um, Z Pack's other shelters regarding the headroom and like how you have to crawl underneath it. Um, but it's really not a big deal. Plenty of vestibule space for storage and for cooking. Um, I just I think it's like the perfect little. Uh, solo shelter Yeah, so that's it One other thing I one other thing I really like about this uh, Bivy I tried other bivvies underneath the pocket tarp and I just hated the, the feeling of the material on the top um, But the nice thing about the board bivy this is like an argon 90 I believe it is and it feels almost like a silk sheet um, and so if you're too hot in there um, having it on your skin is actually not uncomfortable it got down it was only like mid 50s last night so probably not the best test of this but it was really cozy and comfortable um it felt like a, a proper piece of bedding rather than like a scratchy piece of camping equipment so um really like that um it's, it's definitely lightweight it's supposed to be quite breathable um, it's not very humid here, so it wasn't a very good test, but I had zero condensation last night, but um, like I said, I got to do some more testing on that. Uh, but, uh, but yeah, it's, it's a super cozy little piece of gear.